Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. Happy Veterans Day. Now guys, I got out there running my mouth and eating so good, I completely forgot that I did not upload a video for you guys. So I'm here to upload the video and then I'm back out to get my free grub. But happy Veterans Day to all my subscribers, my followers, if you just tuned into this video. Happy Veterans Day. Cool. Alrighty, in today's video, we're going to talk about the stimulus is once again at a stalemate. We're going to talk about $300 unemployment in one state that, hey, you got until Thursday, okay, if you still want this FEMA money. Then we're going to talk about hazard pay. Yes, some states are still paying that. Teachers grants, COVID, and more. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because it's Veterans Day, and I'm your favorite vet. Okay, maybe I'm a little biased. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. As of right now, the stimulus ch checks talk are back at a stalemate. Guys, we've been there, we've seen this. Oh my gosh, we have the t-shirt. What in the world is going on? As far as the stimulus deal being passed by Congress, as of yesterday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell signaled that it's possible, hey, you know, Kanye shrug, it's possible, but not likely. He said, it seems to me that the snag that held us up a month ago is still there. I don't think the current situation demands a multi-trillion dollar package. Now, Kentucky, Kentucky, you guys are the one who voted him back in. So let me know what's going on. Like, now, you know me, I said that, hey, maybe, you know, when they offered the 1.8, 1.9 deal, I think that was our time to strike. I felt like Nancy Pelosi should have took it, deal or no deal, but hey. As of right now, all the reports that are coming out are saying that, hey, the jobs are coming back, the economy is improving, the V-shaped recovery, you know what I mean? It's coming out saying that now you know and I know that it's not like that. Like, people are struggling. You have food banks lines that are a long way down the road, but somehow in these brunches and lunches and these rich people, the economy is doing well, okay? so. As of right now, he said the government does face a government um, a shutdown in December, so we know. And some lawmakers speculated that the stimulus spending could be combined with the government funding legislation. Now we, you know, like we tried this, we tried to throw it in there when it came to the postal service. Like we've been there, we've done that. Come on, let's try something new. They said if a package does not come together by next year, this means that the relief will have to be one of the first matters that Joe Biden will have to address when taking office. It says it will be the first test for Joe Biden. And so some of the strategists and former aides, they said it's an opportunity for him to come out of the gates, all right, and show whether he can govern or whether he can govern in more of a positive and bipartisan way that we've seen, that we haven't seen over the last four years. Now, last night, Joe Biden did say at a press conference that the Americans are in desperate need of a stimulus and another round of checks right now. Not tomorrow, right now, he said. He said that also we know that the hospitalizations have reached an all-time high. He stressed that one of the urgent things that needs to be done is people need relief. And I would hope that the president at least has the sensitivity and knowledge to know that people are in real trouble between now and the time we get sworn in. So, hey, it sounds like that's what he's doing. Maybe he'll pull an executive order like Donald Trump did, you know? I mean, just hey, can you give us 600 Joe, Kamala, get them saying, can y'all hook us up, hook a sister up, I'm just saying. You know, that's just like as soon as you get in the office, hey, well, what I need is this, 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 you know, okay, but let's go ahead and move along. Now, if you don't want to miss out on this $300, let me tell you something, New Jersey, y'all have until Thursday to certify, okay? 
So more than 100,000 New Jersey residents are eligible. You are now somehow eligible, but have not yet certified for an extra $300 a week for the federal unemployment benefits. Now you have until 11.59 on Thursday to take action. At midnight, Cinderella is gonna turn into a pumpkin. You don't get it, okay? So what I need you to do is take your little glass heels, go online and register. People who are eligible for the benefit will be sent instructions on Tuesday or Wednesday via email or text message according to the State Department of Labor and Workforce Development. It says workers need to take action by the end of the day Thursday to get the money. Now, some New Jersey workers said that they did receive these text messages from the Labor Department and it looked like it was a scam or email and the benefit went into their spam folders. Now guys, we know that you can be scammed by anything these days. People can steal sugar out of coffee when it's mixed. I don't know, but they can, okay? But they said these notifications that are going out on Tuesday or Wednesday will come from an email address that says UI dash no reply at dol.nj.gov. And it's not coming from me, okay? So for y'all that keep trying to get scammed by someone who's saying that they are Chalet Morgan one at Gmail, it's not me, okay? And it's not New Jersey Workforce Labor Department either. But on there, it will have the name displaying NJDOL and text messages will come from an 898-211 said the state and only workers that are eligible will be notified so don't call them let them contact you but for three hundred dollars i'm gonna have to call you too but guys let me tell you seriously all seriousness someone is going down they didn't created a whole email saying that there's me you guys know that like yeah y'all know me like i come on here i give y'all my good 10 15 minutes and i'm off like you don't see me on any other platform you don't see me on facebook you don't see me on instagram why because i have a life Okay, I have a life outside of YouTube. And while some people love the whole popularity and doing all that, like, that's not your girl. Okay, your girl likes to have a life outside of here. I like to have fun, hang out with my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, rolling with the homies, right? That's not me. All right. If I'm going to do something for you, I will put my email. I will let you know. Let me contact you like New Jersey. All right. All right. So moving along in Nevada. The Nevada Department of Employment Training and Rehabilitation said it has started processing the fourth week of Lost Wages Assistance Program. Y'all ain't paid off these six weeks just yet in Nevada. Now, the agency started processing the payments of week four for the eligible claimants this week. As in round one, the process is expected to take up to 10 days. After week four is completed, they will make sure that they have enough money left in the grant to pay for week five. Let's take, whoa. okay, moving along. Now, they want to remind claimants that you don't have to do anything to get the LWA funds. Those are the $300 funds, according to the department. They said claimants must be receiving at least $100 in the benefits and any amount under PUA in order to be eligible for the program. So hopefully y'all will get week five and week six, okay? And hopefully you'll get it before the year is out. Now in Portland, Portland right now, they're actually going to delay your emergency hazard pay, but they're gonna include a minimum wage hike. So listen here, Portland. Portland mayor and city council plan to delay the enforcement of hazard pay during declared states of emergency that were approved by the voters in a Q&A on Tuesday's ballot, raising the minimum wage to $15 over four years. Now we've talked about this $15 minimum wage the hazard pay would provide workers whose jobs are directly impacted by a declared emergency pay of time and a half. Now, this means that the pandemic emergency that's going on right now, the minimum wage in Portland is $12 per hour, but it will increase to $18 for the hazard pay. Now, the only reason why they didn't do this right now because they said a sudden increase in the minimum wage would be catastrophic for some of the businesses as of right now because they wanted them to have the money to you guys by December 5th, which you know that's like in three weeks and who moves that quick? I mean, the slow skis, the turtles don't even move that quick. So the newly passed city ordinance actually will take place typically 30 days now after approval. The, Port the Portland City Council also discussed the ballot question of eliminating the cap on marijuana businesses. Whoa, Mary Jane, hey, hey. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She is not me. Okay, I'm a vet, okay, we don't do that. But 
They will also address the payment and what's going to happen at the next meeting on Monday. So once I get some information, I got you. Now guys, while we're out there enjoying and having a good old time, seriously, in all seriousness, right now the COVID cases are spiking almost everywhere. Like in New York, they're restricting bars, home gatherings, because hospitalizations have reached an all time high and Texas was the first to reach 1 million infections. So we're laughing, we're joking, we're it's about to spend time because the holidays are coming up with family. But for real, it's like real in these streets. Like I probably need to have on this right now while I'm talking to y'all. Okay, because I don't know what can come through the phone. I mean, just saying. But as of right now, almost 62,000 Americans have been hospitalized on Tuesday. The previous record was about 59,780 and that was on April 12th. So this has begun now to start back to creep up. I don't know if we're in round two or if it's just like everyone right now has COVID fatigue and you're just over it and we're just, you know what, being a little bit more relaxed, but in all seriousness, like I don't want anything to happen to my watchers. So I need y'all to wear y'all mask. I need y'all to practice these social distancing measures. I need y'all to use that hand sanitizer. Okay, please, just for your girl. Okay, I don't ask for much. I didn't ask for your email address. Please do it. And they said, as of right now, hospitals are facing severe constraints in the weeks ahead, said the North Dakota governor, Doug Burgum. He said, whose state has been hit the hardest. We need everyone to know to help slow the spread. So that's what we have going on. And in Arizona, Governor Doug Ducey, along with the Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction, Kathy Hoffman, announced $19 million in funding. Now, this is going to come from the Governor's Emergency Education Relief, which is GER. Okay, GER. But it's part of the CARES Act. Now, through this program, eligible schools can choose programs that fit their needs. But some of the things that they're going to provide is going to be teacher stipends for additional student tutoring sessions. They have training for teachers for best practices in math and different um, literacy instruction. They also have contracting with qualified math and reading specialists to do like one-on-one -on -one or even small groups training. Pretty much they're gonna use this money to help the children, to help the teachers. And guys, I have stressed this over and over and over again. But as of right now, um, a lot of the COVID funds money, if your state has not exhausted it before December 31st, they're gonna lose the money. So it's hard for me to find out everything and girl, I just don't have the time in a day. Like I have a life, honey, I have a life. But make sure, check with your state and see because they are now going back. Some states are putting this money in unemployment. They're putting it in different programs. They're putting it in businesses. So definitely check. And that's all I have, guys. I got to see where I'm going to eat at for dinner tonight, okay? Like, I already have some IHOP. So hopefully I can go ahead and make it to Red Robin, give me a whole little burger and fries situation. But this all I have, guys, as always, please like, comment, subscribe wear your mask, social distance. Let me know down below if you are a vet. If you are a vet, let me send my love to you. Thank you so much for your contributions to our great nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do. Thank you guys for watching each and every day. Please, please, please be safe out there. I'm praying for you and your family and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.